told you I was going to show you when I make some whipped cream. And I'm doing this all in, the, in one night. So I'm washing my dishes in between. Um, you know, I just want to get it all ready for tomorrow. Now what I've done is I actually soaked some cashews and I drained them. And the soaking just causes them to be a little bit more softer. Um, and I'll put that in there. And I'm going to add some 100% pure maple syrup. And I'm making whipped cream. Now you notice I hardly ever measure things. I just go by eye. And I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. Of course, you can always use pure. And I'm going to see how it goes. I might have to add some water to this. Let's see. I'm going to have to add some water. I also want you to, to bring uh, attention to something. A lot of people think, oh, whipped cream and it's this bright white type of deal. When you make cashew cream, um, you can make it very white if you use the, like maybe a honey or some other kind of sweetener. But because I'm using the maple syrup and the um, vanilla extract has some color to it, my cashews are going to look a little bit brown. But I think you'll still find that the taste is wonderful. I'm going to add just a little bit more water so it moves a little bit better in the, in the blender. Again, these are just some whole alternatives to the, some of the favorites that we have. Now, this is not something that I would eat all the time because it's, it's a special occasion. It's given us special occasion and Christmas special occasion. You know, um, these are just for, you know, special. It's not meant to eat every day, although I have to admit when I have leftovers, I put it over my cereal. And just a little bit more water. When I say cereal, I know maybe people are thinking cereal in a box, but you know what my favorite cereal is? Taking some persimmons, some um, orange or red or yellow peppers, chopping them all up, and then putting them with, with maybe quinoa or uh, kamut, a little bit of, I actually put it on my, it's actually on my, um, on my, one of my other videos, so you can tell what my favorite cereal is. But, all right, back to making whipped cream. All right, now, right now, you see it's actually kind of very thick. Now, I could leave it like that and then overnight let it see how it thickens and add some more water to it. But it actually, I do not mind when it is this thick. Mmm, it's so sweet. Um, I think I'm in just a little bit more water though. Just a, just a tad. Now, notice use this finger to lick, but I'm not going to use it again, just so we keep everything clean. Alright, there it is. This is what I want. I want it to be a little bit like this, because by the time I put it in the refrigerator and it stays overnight, it's going to thicken up a little bit, and that's what I want. And I'm going to bring you back one more time because I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like. Be back in a second. Okay, so welcome back. I'm ready to put it all together. I have my pumpkin pie crust with almonds, cashews, dates, and salt. I have my, my, pump, my fresh pumpkin filling with pumpkin, a uh, fresh pumpkin, uh, cashew butter, water, raisins, a banana, I think I put some dates in it, and then the pumpkin pie spices. And then I have my whipped cream, which is cashew cream with um, maple syrup and vanilla. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this, and I'm going to take a stomper, kind of something like this, and it just fits in there nicely, and I'm just going to make a little well like that, okay? So you can see, just made a little well. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the pumpkin filling and put it in there. 
Oops, I forgot another spoon. That's right, I'll use this one. This is a little good. I'm going to take a little bit of the, a little bit more pumpkin filling. Okay. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of the whipped cream. Oh, a lot of the whipped cream. That one has a little extra. But anyways, you get the point of it. Now I can serve this, make this up in the, the night before. Or I can actually, what I would like to do is, I'm going to make it in the morning before I actually serve it. So it's going to be to where all the flavors kind of go together. <laughs> My mouth is warding. I'm going to enjoy this. You do the same. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.